So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hi there, this is Robin Norgren, and I'm your host for Montessori, Creativity, and the Meaning of Life. You can find all the work that I do on Instagram under Robin underscore Norgren, or on my website at www.josiesartschool.com. Today I wanted to offer a devotion from the book Solo by Eugene Peterson. Luke twelve twenty nine through 32 What I'm trying to do here is get you to relax. Not be so preoccupied with getting so you can respond to God's giving. People who don't know God and the way he works fuss over these things, but you know both God and how he works. Steep yourself in God reality, God initiative, God provisions. You'll find all your everyday human concerns will be met. Don't be afraid of missing out. You're my dearest friends. The Father wants you, wants to give you the very kingdom itself. Are you preoccupied with getting? Is it enough financial support? A little more in shape? Finding more time? Or some other getting that occupies your daily thoughts and deeds? The passage tells us that being distracted with getting can take our focus away from God's giving Knowing God should change how you view even what seems the most necessary. He is provider, creator, sustainer. He is the giver of all good things. And he is the one in charge of the cosmos. A 2% raise or 5 pounds lost is nothing compared to the power of raising Jesus from the dead and freely giving eternal life. Why is Jesus warning his disciples about this? How does Jesus remind his disciples about their identity to further prove his point? Confess to God the getting that is causing you to ignore the giving. Ask for help releasing any anxiety or stress you feel. Praise God for all the ways he has already provided for you. Thank him for inviting you into the kingdom and ask for a heart that yearns for God's freedom and God's actions instead of frantically trying to work toward your own. Pray for ways to steep yourself in the reality of the kingdom instead of what seems so essential and urgent on earth. How has getting gotten in the way of God's giving in the past? How has it affected your giving to others? Journal about how gratitude can surpass anxiety.